Hey guys, it's John of Figurative Arc. Today's tutorial is going to be looking at Audacity. Now, Audacity is a free, totally free audio editing and recording program. So, whether you have audio that you want to import into this piece of software to edit, or you actually want to record something and then edit it, this is a good option if you're looking for something that has a lot of different tools for your audio projects as well as if you want to work on audio for to add to your video projects as well. I have put the website to download Audacity in the description. When you open it, you will get a screen that looks like this. Let me kind of familiar with a couple things before we get started. Okay, up here we have our record button to start recording audio if you are doing that and play and stop and pause and here this is asking you what your recording device so if you are actually recording audio and if you're doing it what are you channels are you doing it in and then it's just asking you play back when you play it back uh, what are you going to be using to play back to listen to it right now I've got that muted because I'm going to do some recording and I don't want feedback coming into uh, our tutorial today this is asking you the recording volume so how loud or soft do you want to make your actual recording this is the playback volume and down here is your project rate it's what frequency have you recorded your audio at now this becomes important particularly if you have a project and want all different audio recordings the same frequency so when you put it all together it all fits together if you record it at different frequencies that could create a problem uh, most standard frequencies a lot of times are either uh, 44 100 or 4800 uh, there is a way of changing the frequency of any audio so if you find you record it at a frequency that later need to change you can do that uh, but that's what that is and that's just a general overview there are a lot of more buttons as you can see up there right now and uh, we'll go over those in some future videos but today I just wanna show you how to record things as well as edit them uh, just using some basic tools so the first thing I can do right now is I can start recording and there it is showing my voice as we record now I can stop that I can start recording yet another track right underneath it and there it appears and I'm gonna stop that now I'm gonna go ahead and bring my speakers back up now, I've got two tracks here now if I want to listen to these one at a time I can mute this one and just listen to this one right now this right here can adjust how loud or soft it is so if I didn't quite get it right when I recorded it I can adjust it there I can go up here and I can rename this right here this is especially helpful if you are recording multiple tracks and you want to keep them straight you can do it like that now, now I, I can start so I can start listening to that. that's what you were listening to so let's say there's a part in here that I want to cut this is the selection tool right here and what I can do is I can hover and I can click on my mouse and drag this I can go up to edit and I can go cut so that's pretty simple now let's say that I wanted to combine these two tracks so the first thing I would do is I'm going to select them and if I go up if I go up to tracks what I'm going to do is I'm going to line these tracks end to end now what I have is I've got this track here and I've got this track here picking up 
if I want to then combine these into one timeline tract, because right now it's split, then I would go back up to tracks and I would mix and render in a new track. And there it is. So now I have combined these and I've put them in order. Uh, one other tool that I'll show you real quickly is this tool here. That's the time shift tool. That just means I can go and click and I can move this on the timeline. So maybe I want there to be some overlapping or whatever I want to do. Okay. Once I've kind of cut it, I've combined it the way that I've wanted to, I can go up to file and I can do a couple things. I can export all these which is export multiple. I can select what format that I want to export it in and what quality rate do I want. Uh, 320 is what I typically deal with but you have a lot of other different choices. At a constant bit rate but you can adjust that. And then here it's asking you what are the file names when we export all this. Uh, using labels, uh, so that'll export it using the label if you've changed the label like we did. So you can do it that way. You can export multiple files here. You can just select one file and go up to file and export selected audio, so you could just do that. So that's how you would export these. If you wanted to save the project, all that does is it saves the project so you can reopen it and you can make further adjustments. But to actually export it into an MP3 or whatever file that you want, you would do it that way. Uh, if you're not recording, if you just wanted to work on uh, pre-existing music or something that you've already recorded, then it, it's pretty simple to import audio and you can import that. And then in the same way, you can uh, preview it, you can listen to it, you can edit it, and you can export it in the same way. So that's just a very brief introduction. There are many, many more tools uh, in this program, and I'm going to be, over the course of the next few videos, showing you some other things to do, like noise reduction. So if you're recording and you've got some background noise, how to screen that out, how to uh, amplify, how to change the pitch of what you've recorded, the tempo. So if you like tutorials like this, please consider subscribing and you can always comment below.